Good morning, everyone. It is February 15th, 2023. Hope all of you had a wonderful, wonderful uh, Valentine's Day with your special person and all and your loved ones. And as I was saying yesterday, just love love each other as much as you can because that's, that's all we got in life. So uh, anyway, hello, good morning. I was hoping you guys would consider subscribing and liking to the channel, even notif notifying yourself. <laughs> by hitting the notification bell <laughs> you want to notify yourself um the wife is here with me good morning everybody i'm in my pjs i'm still sleepy i'm in my 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 clothes from from yesterday because <laughs> i because i just woke up but that's nothing unusual for me you guys <laughs> i'm in my same this clothes is a lot very unusual for me for her yeah, yeah this is very true. unusual yeah but uh we're just gonna take a quick drive it just said 19 degrees when I came out of my house, but now it says 22 degrees. But we're gonna take a little, a little drivey poo to show you guys how little snow we got. So at my house, we got about a quarter of an inch of snow. <clears throat> Winter storm warning indeed. What a joke. But there's good news. It's not looking like as bad as it is supposed to be from what I looked at yesterday but uh, come about a week from today yesterday it, it showed seven straight days of on and off snow you guys and that's super exciting for for me for a lot of you not for my wife I'm gonna uh, if I don't go down to LA because I might escape it and don't record me. I'm still in my pajamas. You're still hot, baby. Um, I will probably go skiing. I might embrace it this time. So. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's if yeah. I don't um, go to LA. Who would want to do that? that? My grandkids are out there, so. Well, then that's why it's important. That's why it's important. Yeah, you guys heard that correctly. We're grandparents. Can you believe that? Two grand baby boys. They are so cute. One of them is starting school today. No, they both went to school today. One of them started school today, right? Wasn't Winslow already in school? Um, no, it, it's just they were out for... He was out. They were both in school. It's just just make out. me feel right when we're on camera. Yeah, one of them right? started school today. <laughs> it, it's so cute. His first day of school. Love and life. He's so cute. Young. They are adorable. They are adorable. <laughs> I'm a very lucky grandpa. They don't cry when you drop them off. They're very eager to get there. Well, when you have their mouth taped shut, it's kind of hard to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at this. You know, we're going to wow. do a, a slow-mo. Hello! I use that huge pile of snow as the uh, thumbnail. That huge pile of snow? Look at this, look at that. It's so cold, I don't want to roll down my darn windows because it's not good for the mechanical system inside. I learned that in my uh, Mercedes. Are people going to go on those square pieces and snowboard? I was saying hi to him, but I was actually covering the sun. I was saying hi to him. Babe, you don't have to be so freaking mean. <laughs> Guys, Bear Mountain looks gorgeous right here. Sorry about doing this to your face, babe. Sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> I like it. It's really attention. 
when you're not being beat, <laughs> you don't get no love. All right, guys. So we just passed Hair Bear, Hair Bear Mountain, the berry. My stomach's still really bothering me, you guys. It's really embarrassing. Like, okay, so like a lot of you are just, well, all of you are so freaking loving, but I got a lot of suggestions about medicines to take and stuff. But I was embarrassed to tell you guys what it really is, but it's like gas and like, Conservation. Ugh. So it's like really, really, really bad. So his stomach's really bothering me too. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. <laughs> She's funny. She's hilarious. She is pretty damn funny. I'll tell you that much. Here's the golf course. It looks so pretty out here right now, you guys. And when it's really cold like this, for some reason, it always looks prettier outside. But last night, it got down to about nine degrees at my house. We brought our chickens inside and we'll be bringing them inside tonight because it's supposed to get down to about 13 and then back up into the low 20s again for a little while. Yeah, so. Hope everyone is doing great today. It's always a blessing to do these videos because as I tell you guys, the best part of these videos is reading the comments. I never asked nearly as much since I started asking for subscribers and stuff for you guys to leave comments, but yeah, please leave comments. I love responding to you guys. Ask my wife, it's like an all day thing too. In between my other job, that's all I'm doing is responding to comments. Oh, yeah. So true. Sometimes I think he's talking to me and I'm like, oh, he's talking to me. Uh -huh. And then I realize it's talking to you guys. It's because so it's because I uh, I do my comments uh, via voice text. So I, <laughs> unless she's asleep, then I type it. But. but yes, he does take the time to answer all of you and the best of his knowledge. I try. I, try. I definitely try. And if he doesn't know, he'll drive you around to show you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ask other sources. I'll look stuff up on online for you guys. I don't mind doing that stuff for you guys. You guys. Comes the zoo. We've been planning to go to the zoo. Yeah, so we are going to do a whole video here, guys. We're going to check out every little animal in, or every little and big animal in here and it's, it's gonna be great so I heard it's not like a, a, a zoo um, well it is a zoo but it's not it's more like of a rescue where they get like the injured animals that's exactly and correct life and then they it's exactly correct that's why I actually like this zoo as I told you guys I'm not some like environmental crazy person but on, on, on the, I won't throw my trash out I won't do stuff that'll hurt our environment but I won't make people uh, feel feel bad uh, about things like some some do but when it comes to this zoo unlike a lot of other zoos this zoo actually gets I, I think it's all their animals from when they're injured or something in the wild and then they rehab them in the zoo and then the ones that are, are able to go back out into the wild because some can never go back out into the wild again we would just be letting them out to their immediate demise and uh those, yeah, like those ones like stay a blind owl or something is that true i really want to go to check it out they have a, th a three-legged donkey Do uh, no, no. What the heck? I believed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh the picture in my head <laughs> They have an eagle with six beaks on his head. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but that was the eagle who came to us from Japan near the Fukushima plant. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> Yes, and the zoo's other name is Nick Amstetter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the monkey part of the zoo. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's the monkey part. Wow, we're on a roll today. Straight up comedians this morning. We should get up early all the time. We're semi delirious. Babe, you do get up early all oh, the yeah, time. That's right. I forgot. I don't. I'm in shock right now, so I've. <laughs> because. Because you're awake. I have you know, my own. Early. Not all the time at all. <laughs> but because I have videos. my own. Yeah, true. When, when we have snow, I'll be out at 3, 4 in the morning if I have to. But uh, because of my business. And I don't rely on a boss or anything like that. Or, or like, yeah, of course, I have a schedule when I'm open and when I'm closed. But that's the biggest reason, honestly, guys, why I, I wanted to start my own little gig. So I don't have to wake up early. I've never been an early person. I know the early bird catches the worm and early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. I get all that. <clears throat> and it's very true. I'll tell you what, I feel so much better when I wake up early really do um, life just seems so much better I get to enjoy the whole day watch your coffee Are you having... because I, I, was, I thought that was gonna be a big bump I didn't want you to burn yourself no it's 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 not that hot anymore. oh okay but yeah guys so I I've created my own schedule I start work at 10 a.m. every day seven days a week All right, we're coming up to Summit Boulevard, folks. And this is where we're at on the mappy. Oh, it went from an arrow to a, a dot. And now it went, th oh, because we stopped, that's gotta be it. Here's Summit, Snow Summit over there. They aren't gonna let us through, but all right. I don't mind. Thanks, babe. My stomach's freaking killing me. So I have my Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company coffee in here. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. Look you know, how cute they are. Aren't those cups great, you guys? Sleeve, and my coffee's not like so hot that it needs a sleeve, but it's still cute. Yeah, guys. You're... And it's so much better, especially, sorry, babe. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. It's so much better, especially living out here that I like make it at home because sometimes with the visitors, it's not possible to get coffee anywhere at all. I won't even say a brand, it's just anywhere at all. And guys, speaking of anywhere at all, it was shocking to me all the comments on the Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company video that a lot of you who come up and visit often had no idea they were even there. So hopefully, you know, hopefully we can take some 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 business away from uh, Starbucks and give you guys some real coffee and a real coffee experience. Wow, look at how beautiful. It is it gorgeous. It does make me want to go skiing. I've, I've had the urge to go skiing, but um, I swear to you, my biggest fear is the cold wind slapping against my skin because I don't like the cold. It's the most horrible thing ever. So, and she lives in Big Bear. How funny is that, guys? I know. And it, the cold is, I just can't wait for, it's, the snow's beautiful from inside next to a fire when you're looking out the window. But like, if you have to walk in it, drive in it feel it it's cold it's too cold for me <laughs> see she, she has a, a good excuse hang on guys i have to fix this camera what's my excuse so your excuse for being here because some of the people up here that like say oh i hate the snow and da, 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 da. i don't hate it i think they're so so full of it because um <clears throat> i just think they're like trying to like sound cool and tough like uh like uh they're they're better than the snow now and but <laughs> most everybody moved up here because they wanted to move up here and if you don't like the snow why would you go to the smallest little like basically only four season resort in southern california besides wrightwood it just doesn't make any sense to me <clears throat> but my wife different story <clears throat> she uh she moved up here because her cousin owns dominoes up here owned. or owned no he, longer as of when i don't know just uh, no longer a couple months right so I used to work for him when he was the owner still and um, not it. Yeah, I won't go there, but my wife moved here because she... I only came up for the season. Um, he needed workers. And so he asked me and a bunch of my cousins to come up and we did. And the first season I was out here, I loved it. It was so beautiful and enchanting. And like they say, like the winter wonderland and just really beautiful but um i think by like maybe the second or third season 
the cold is what was getting me. Hated it. Oh yeah, like my bones and I'm, I'm literally just so cold. That's just the only thing I don't like about it. But the snow's so beautiful and I love looking at it. I love seeing it drop out of the sky and I love watching all the people play in it. It's so fun to watch. But um, me personally, it's physically just shocking me. It is so cold. When I first moved out here from LA, <laughs> I used to scream because <laughs> I was so cold, so I'd say, oh, <laughs> like, just to warm myself up. <laughs> but I do love it. Um, and my daughter did ask that same question. She was like, you don't even like the cold. Why would you move here? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a love-hate relationship with it. That's the truth. I do too, for other reasons. That's a good way to put it. But I guess everywhere I've lived in my life, I've had a love-hate relationship. With whatever city you're in, yeah. Yeah, I lived in Denver for two years. My parents, my mom sent me to boarding school when I was 14 and 15. And then when I was 16, I went to a drug rehab in Utah for a whole year. Um, it's crazy how these places I got sent for what was supposed to be punishment are my favorite memories of my life. And also visiting up here, Lake Arrowhead, when, when I was 10 and, until 15 years old, my, my mom had a vacation house way up at the top, right across from the village, and it was just such, it was so beautiful. But yeah, my greatest memories are from when I was supposed to be punished. My first, my first like send away type of a, a, a punishment was Outward Bound in Bend, Oregon for three weeks when I was 13. I had to miss the all-star game for baseball, and I, I was supposed to start pitching. I was so sad. But uh, in hindsight, that was like one of the best times of my entire life. Whitewater rafting, rock climbing, rappelling, hiking 10 to 15 miles a day with my, with my little ass carrying 90 pound backpack because we had to carry all our pots, pans, food, uh, tools for like climbing the ice and stuff. Like it was, it was, it was horrible, but I climbed two peaks uh, Broken Top and South Sister in Bend, Oregon. And Broken Top, there was one part that was so scary because um, it was just super, super scary near the summit. If you like screwed up, you're in big trouble. And I was, I was almost crapping my pants. Um, I was almost willing to like ruin the whole thing to have like a helicopter come and pick me up. It was that scary. Medication is starting to work. Oh no. I might have to go home and, There's some, uh, and have you. I'm not going to use a, a, a public bathroom. There's no way. No <laughs> way. I'm one of those people, guys. Why, why don't you pull up the public bathroom instead of our bathroom at home? Well, you know. Preferably. She doesn't want me peeling the paint in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go peel the paint off in the, <laughs> in the public restroom. Oh my gosh. Look at that dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's it's so a cute. tiny bear. There are bears in Big Bear. Look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like Luna with more hair. Oh my gosh, so cute. Walked like Luna, just all weird. <laughs> <laughs> Our dogs are so freaking cute. But yeah, guys, so just real quick, I know this is about weather, this channel, and it's, it's turned in to something else sometimes because I just talk about everything but um, it is 23 degrees right now um, when it comes to seeing or what's going on with our weather coming up I'll tell you guys if we have anything coming in this week until next or for the next week what we have going on and there is zero chance of any precipitation until next Wednesday so a week from today will be great. And uh, yeah, so we got nothing in store. Temperatures for the next week are gonna be in the pretty much low 40s for high temperatures. Our, our low temperatures are gonna be in the low 20s. And then as I said, we have about six or seven straight days of on and off snow. It doesn't look like much snow right now, just each day basically says like less than an inch or an inch of snow and then a couple of the days say one to three inches for like the morning and then a couple of days later one to three inches for the nighttime. 
but the closer we get the usually it gets bigger in terms of the uh the forecast the predictions but as you guys know um the predictions haven't been right once this season so and i've been recording these storms for eight years without ever missing one i as i told you guys yesterday i think about 95 plus percent of all the forecasts here have been wrong in terms of never ever getting the amount of snow that they originally say we're going to get and that's frustrating because i don't want you guys wasting your time and wasting you guys hard-earned money to drive all the way up here taking time off work spending all that money that you're not getting paid for not working and then that you're being jacked paying up here it is a tourist town so i, I need to be a little more understandable but i just don't think that it's right for you guys to get charged so much money up here of course i want our business owners to succeed but like i don't know it it, it, it just feels like you're buying like a ten dollar can of soda when you come up here that's my stupid analogy but uh i do care and i do get a lot of crap because i am honest with you guys but you know what i'm never gonna change i can't everyone's not not gonna love me and i would rather be honest and be able to sleep at night than you know lie to you guys and say hey we, we, we just got a foot of snow but i'm not gonna show you so get up here quickly because we got a, a, a brand new foot of snow out here I want you guys to enjoy yourselves, as, as I said, not waste your money. All right, guys, well, this is gonna be it for our video. I love you guys a lot. Thank you guys once again for everything you do for me. You guys really make me feel good inside. I'm very, very blessed to have each and every single one of you in, in, in my life. And uh, why don't you say goodbye, honey bunny? Goodbye, everybody. Have a great morning. And also, you guys know, don't forget to like and subscribe if you actually like. I would appreciate it and uh, we'll talk to you later and we will have the time-lapse video up for you guys tomorrow of these last two little storm systems. Peace out guys.